Disappointed but not surprised. Disappointed but not surprised. Disappointed but not surprised. Welcome back to another week of the fuckery. This is your disappointed but not surprised co-host. I'm Alex. I'm Addie. And we have our really special friend here today. We say that about everybody, but you're a really special friend. I am. No, you are really special. You're a really special friend. (laughs) How long have we... Well, all right. Nina, say hi. Hi. (laughs) We've actually... Oh, wait. Which one are we doing? No, that's the confession corner one. (laughs) I think think that's the applause. Yeah, I think that's it. Okay. We either booed you or we applauded you, but we're either not way. sure. <laughs> <laughs> we're working on it, guys. <laughs> so, yeah, no, we've known Nina for forever, and we've actually spoke about her Long in time. a few episodes, and we're so excited to have you to so hang I'm out. So Girls Night. Night. Yes. Yeah, <laughs> Nina's famous. Girls Night. Yeah. So I met Nina when we worked at Juicy together, and let me tell you, it was like the highest store on in the country with theft, and it was because we would just close, get drunk, and then walk out with like 10 bags of this, the Literally clothes. Literally 10 bags, not just one. <laughs> I no one gave a mine. shit. And so I it was like my best bags. friends at first sight. Yes. Yep. And I stuffed my bags. Good for you. I used to it wasn't like a sacks. little bit in there. Like I really stuffed the shit out of them. <laughs> <laughs> and then I wore it to work. Wait, I got fired I from a job from stealing a cookbook when I worked at Williams Sonoma one time. A cookbook would have been caught me. Uh, yeah, <laughs> forget <laughs> it. We would still be sitting behind bars if they ever found out. Because what store doesn't have fucking cameras? That's crazy. But yeah. I guess back then, like also what our year manager was, was in on it. Oh, she was. Yeah, she was like walking out with shit, too. Oh, my God. That's mad funny. We closed the store and then we would shop. Yeah. <laughs> and get drunk as we were like, we didn't give a shit. Customers would come in. We'd be like, bye. <laughs> like, <laughs> so that's what started off your friendship. And yes. then I met Nina through Alex a few years after that. Yes. And we were wild together for a we little were. bit. We were wild. We were like, fucked I loved up. it. We, we had such a good time. We, we had we so much out. fun. We Too had much so, fun. And now we just like don't go out anymore because we're fucking losers. Yeah. I, mean, I have a baby. But. Nina has a baby. <laughs> and and a it's, it's a pandemic, guys. <laughs> and it's a pandemic. So that's our excuse for the past three or that's four right. years, right? <laughs> we knew it was coming, so we were prepping for it. <laughs> well, we have to tell some AC stories. Okay. Okay. So we have some crazy Atlantic City stories. Like number one, when we went there for my 21st birthday. Do you remember that? Yes, we had so much fun and so many laughs that day. (laughs) (laughs) This is pre me in the picture too. Yeah, this is before we knew Addie. And um, it was my 21st birthday and Nina's cousins were there. Like all these guys, they were like super hot. So they were good looking. Yeah. Thank you. Runs in the fam. (laughs) (laughs) So they were coming to our room to pregame and we're all wasted at this point already. Super wasted. I feel like we were drinking on the way there. We were. Yeah. And our friend at the time was like, oh, I'm going to do your makeup. And your hair, right? And my hair. She did your hair too. She couldn't do her own hair, by the way. (laughs) She did her makeup though, because she looked like a fucking like albino when she didn't have any on. And when she put it on, she was a whole different person. Let me tell you, I have never seen a transition like that in my life. Like I've only seen her with makeup. Oh, and yeah. when I saw her without makeup I, I once, you texted me about I was it. like, holy <laughs> fuck, man. <laughs> well, one time her <laughs> hair looked like eyebrows. John Stamos. <laughs> she had like a mullet at one point. It's just because she didn't have eyebrows though. And she like drew them on and I just didn't expect that I of know. her. It was so bizarre. Anyway, it continue. Was, yeah, whatever. So she was pissed. <laughs> she didn't want me getting any attention from the guys. So she decides to put black eyeshadow like all literally over. all over my face. <laughs> and I looked in the mirror and started crying. <laughs> crying because I was drunk so Nina and I, my other two friends were like helping me oh then I couldn't even get in the place because I was crawling to try to like get, go to the bouncer to give him my ID because I was so wasted oh my God. so we had to trick her and give her water with cranberry juice and tell her it was vodka oh that's a good idea <laughs> yeah I had no clue that's a good idea you had no fucking idea she was so mad when we tried to cut her off so we had to figure out something. <laughs> and then I sat in a bush the entire night at the Harris pool party because I couldn't stand up. Oh, my God. And then that's the night Kevin went home with the wildebeest and oh ended up God. in uh, yes. where in the next town over. He thought he was hooking up with this like a hottie. Our friend Kevin, by the way, guys, was thinking he was hooking up with a hottie. Yeah. yeah. And um, 
He no. was gone. He was gone. He was like a town away. It wasn't like he was five minutes away. Like the next morning. He was he like was an there. abiscon or whatever the frigate's called, which is at like the Motel 6. <laughs> <laughs> and yeah. Wait, remember the other wait, time? Wait, was she a wildebeest? Yeah. He, On a scale we, of like uh, a one to twenty, you think she was a 10? Sorry, was it like we Shallow called Howl? Her, we called her Woolly Mammoth, actually. <laughs> oh, was it like Shallow Howl when he thinks they're hot, but yes, then he's yes. like, they're really like 100%. a one, but they have like good personality? He, he said he woke up in the morning and was like, looked and like screamed and like couldn't get her like huge arm off him and he had to like try to like roll out without her waking up oh none of us know where the fuck he God. is he fucking called uh, somebody finally got in touch with him he's like oh yeah i think i'm in the like some town over <laughs> come pick me up we're like no no <laughs> oh my god remember the other time we went it was with Jamie and her friend Nicole and we were at the Harris pool party and we decided to stay. Oh my God. Yes. <laughs> and they like brought some naked guy back to the room. He, like, we don't know why he was naked, but he had blood like, all over naked? him. Like butt naked? Yes. He, yeah. Right. And he had blood, blood on so. him? What? But me and Nina stayed elsewhere. So wait, why did he have blood on him? No one knows. I still don't know. Was the, he like in a fight? I don't know. We don't did know. Did he like fuck somebody with a period? <laughs> maybe <laughs> could have been oh Couldn't my tell you. god no because the next day we went to go meet back up with them and they were like yeah this guy was fucking naked <laughs> and he stayed in our room we're like all right thank god we, we stayed, stayed elsewhere our, yeah, thank that's god. fucked up it was. and and the people that we stayed with they fucking left our asses in the morning we didn't even yeah. the guys would you say yes. the guys yeah yeah they left us there we woke up by ourselves <laughs> And then we took all their alcohol that they left and had to walk through the casino in like bandos and booty shorts with alcohol bottles. Like every, all the old people were like, what a disgrace. Nothing like the walk of shame in AC. Yeah, it was. I'm pretty sure I wore my, one of my juicy outfits that I stole on the way home. Good for you. <laughs> Oh my God. And we then had so many good times. Yeah. Like the time the list we, goes on and on. Honestly, there was one time we went to Neptune's and the party bus left without us. So we were with like this one dude I had been hooking up with him and our other friend Greg was there, whatever. Yeah. And the party bus leaves. So it's like the four of us, who else was with us? One other Cindy. Yeah. <laughs> Fucking Cindy, the wildest oh. girl. To any of our listeners, our friend Cindy is what is I can't even think of a word to describe her. I have no idea what to describe her with. I feel like you just need to see the you video of American Idol and then you really <laughs> understand. Wait, she was on American Idol with cornrows, and yes. she was singing with cornrows and, and UFO singing, pants, and she was singing Avril Lavigne. Where was it? No, was it Avril Lavigne? Oh, what was she shit. singing? What the hell and was it? And Simon goes to her. That was absolutely ghastly. <laughs> Get the she goes, fuck off. Can I do it one more time? And he's like, no, no. that was ghastly. <laughs> <laughs> he like throws her ass off the stage. She was singing pink. Oh, oh pink, yes, pink. Yes, pink. She was singing pink in like a, a schoolgirl skirt. And Simon was just like, Get <laughs> off. That was ghastly. So our friend Cindy is insane and basically like is the funniest person ever but just mooches off of everybody Everyone. yeah and has no conscience whatsoever so she stayed with us and like we went back to this guy's hamptons <laughs> I forgot house about the american idol <laughs> Me Sorry. Too. i'll never forget <laughs> i watch it periodically <laughs> If you ever feel sorry about yourself, just watch fucking the watch American that. Idol. <laughs> okay, sorry, she went to that one. No, it's okay. So she stayed with us. So it's me, Nina, and Cindy. And then the two guys that we were with, the one guy goes, oh, well, I have a Hamptons house out here, you know, that we're renting for the summer. So we could just in stay. In AC? Oh, no. No, this is, Hampton. Sorry. Okay. this is in the Hamptons. Yeah. So he's like, so we could just stay there. We're like, okay. Okay, no problem. So we get in the back, so we go through the side, we get in the backyard, all of a sudden we, me and Nina just get, and Cindy, of course, just get like butt ass naked, Look, jump Cindy in the pool. Cindy would get naked. She was the first one. Yeah, we, of yeah. course. <laughs> we jump in the pool, we're swimming around, whatever, because we didn't have Having bathing suits. We were yeah, at the fucking we club. in the Hamptons. Exactly. Right. <laughs> so we're at the fucking club all day. All of a sudden we realize that there's a party going on inside party. the house and everybody's looking out the back door <laughs> looking at us. In there. <laughs> hey. Hope you shaved your bushes. <laughs> 
<laughs> did they jump in or were they just like no Googling? they were just like watching what the fuck did you guys do we like, didn't care we kept swimming I yeah we didn't have to didn't at that shit. point i would have just kept on swimming it's just a fucking naked body oh well <laughs> i gave zero fucks i wouldn't especially if i was in neptunes and i was wasted no, we i wouldn't give it all day fuck <laughs> literally <laughs> all day <laughs> then we went out to the club that night i was in my outfit from the day like i don't even know how they let me in me either because i'm pretty sure i might have wore a bathing suit top yes <laughs> i had like on these like leopard sequin shorts oh and God. a fucking bando dude if you're a hot girl you could wear a loincloth and be let in a club i wasn't true. looking hot that night i was not <laughs> looking hot any of us were no <laughs> i had the makeup down my face from the pool that's like a regular my hair like out to here <laughs> Yeah, no, it was really bad. The worst is when we went to Output that one time, Alex and I, I were you there? You, no, I think she was with us. You were, I think you were with us too. We went to Refresh Output me. and it was raining when we were waiting in yes. line. And we look in the mirror and we look like what the, the fuck? Joker. <laughs> we did ourselves all dialed up, cat's eye. We looked in the mirror and we looked like the fucking Joker. It was just streaming down all our down face. Our yeah. Yet we still got hit on that night. That's I right. mean, come on, look at us, guys. I know, <laughs> seriously, we're fucking tens. <laughs> so Nina works at, Cage tell us where you work. I work at Cage Plastic Surgery. Yes. Shout out. Shout, Shout out. out. <laughs> and Nina deals with some people, which I am fascinated about, with crazy body dysmorphia. Absolutely. I mean, they come in all the time. And it's, it's really mind-blowing to me that it's a lot of women who are super attractive. Right, beautiful. It's not the ones who come in who... I mean, need the work. <laughs> <laughs> Sorry. <laughs> we just say it like it is. It doesn't fucking matter. Um, no, it's like, you know, this one woman, she came in and, you know, she, I mean, she's on a first name basis at my office. Um, she came in, she had her breasts done, she had a tummy tuck, she's had lipo. And I mean, every time she comes in, she's thinner and thinner. And I tell her how good she looks. And every time it's, oh no, I'm so fat. Oh You're no, probably I'm so gassing fat. gassing her up and saying that she looks, she thin. looks she so looks good. So she's good. so thin. And every yeah. time, and I mean, she's in her fifties and she comes in with her dad every time. Which is God. fucking weird it's to come bizarre. into a plastic surgery yeah. office with your dad. I'm but sorry. she's just never happy. Like nothing's ever good enough. She has not one ounce of fat on her. And every time she comes in, like she complains about something else she grabs something and it's I mean it's really sad well I was anorexic for a while in college and I remember it just consuming your yeah. every being like I remember eating a graham cracker and oh no it was an animal cracker and I was flipping out because I had 13 calories that's third right. i was the opposite Jeez. in college I gained like 20 pounds you literally eat, like, oreos to the fucking case <laughs> But I gained the, the freshman 15 and I remember it was just like the roll. Like it was yeah. like the, the tire around your waist or whatever. But I also was doing so much Coke in high school. And then like when I went to college, I didn't have a fucking Coke dealer. So, and then you find one pretty quick. No, Damn, that sucks. <laughs> I know. I don't know. I was just like fed so much drugs in high school. It's not even funny. And then when you went to college, you didn't have the fucking dealer. So you had to like adderall yourself up or just be anorexic to like lose the fucking freshman 15 but i remember it being like really like all like consuming, very consuming right that's and i had to go they, to major therapy for it yes, and it's fucking that's horrifying really what, yeah what it is and when they look in the mirror they don't see what everyone else sees. no they right. see just fat 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 yes. fat 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 no matter what or like I have a friend who's very anorexic and she knows she's very anorexic and like she can't get pregnant and she, the doctor's like, you have to eat more. She's 80 something pounds. Yeah, that's What? Crazy. Yep. And she, the doctor was like, you have to eat more. So she was crying to us that the doctor was making her eat an apple, an apple extra yeah, day, a fucking apple. Like well, you I know would how even unhealthy the kid is going to be if she well, gets pregnant. She, she has, yeah, right. she has a few already too. So, but it's bad. But she, you know, can't get it, and she's afraid to get help for her anorexia because she's afraid to then gain weight. Because what's everybody going to think if she actually finds happiness in herself and gains weight? Like nobody gives a fuck about you, seriously. <laughs> yeah, nobody gives a fuck about any of us. Like nobody gives a right. fuck. Nobody's going to remember in 10 years no, if so-and-so gained, gained fucking pounds. 20 yeah. pounds and we'd all be like, wow, you look better than you did when you were Yeah, anorexic. I was going to say, they probably say worse shit about her now, now being like a twig. Absolutely. Of course, because it's, 
it's scary to see right. someone like that, especially yeah. someone that Very you're with all the skinny. time and that you yeah. care about. And you then know? it's like being unhealthy, you know, when you're pregnant. So yeah, but no, your person probably has that same thing. And it's all consuming, all consuming. And even like her dad knows it. Cause like, like I said, she's in her fifties and she comes in with her dad and it's he has weird. to tell my doctor, like if she has surgery, not to give her, um, like narcotics because she has a problem. Yeah. Like, so it's, it's obviously it's, she More has a lot of just yeah you know her body it's her addictive personality yes. period i right. relate to that shit i went through bulimia anorexia drug addiction alcoholism you know exercise addiction i mean you fucking name it what <laughs> fuck i don't know well look at you now <laughs> yeah. i'm still a psychopath but that's okay <laughs> <laughs> Um, and then we have other lady, like another lady who comes in, she's a Russian lady and she comes in like with her kids screaming every time she doesn't pay attention to her kids. Like they're <laughs> running wild in the office. She doesn't care. And she's just, all she wants is for her forehead not to move and it doesn't move. Oh my God. She just wants more Botox, more Botox. And all she says is, I want to freeze. I want to freeze. Do you see this? Look. And she points and there's, there's no movement on her face <laughs> whatsoever. And she, look at this line. Look at this line. Like, she must study herself she all her, day she in the mirror, to. like all day. But I'm not the only one who doesn't see it. Nobody sees it. She, her forehead, she can't move it. Yeah. Like, it's ridiculous. And then you look fucking stupid. It's scary. Yeah. <laughs> like, there's got to be some movement. Like, we all, us movement, three, yes. are Botox culprits. Hell I yeah. do Botox, lip fillers, cheek fillers. Alex does the Botox and the bee sting lips. Mm -hmm. You do Botox. Botox. You do yeah. just Botox. Mm -hmm. Like, but we are, we don't, none of us I don't look, look like scary. we have No, it. no. I just want a wrinkle. We cannot tell that any of us have it. We just <laughs> no. look really youthful and just beautiful. And we like, have good we're skin. like 10. Exactly. Yeah. <laughs> Thank you. That's what it gives you. <laughs> just this glow. And it's like maintenance, whatever they call it. Like, yeah, whatever. like wrinkle maintenance. So I don't Absolutely. have that line in my forehead. I started getting it when I was 28 because I had fucking wrinkles. And I'm like, what the hell? My crow's I feet. I started lot. when I was I 30. And that one in between your eyebrows gets me every time. Yep. Even if I wear sunglasses, I make that face and yeah. I can't stand it. So does your doctor like turn them away or does he like allow so, them? I mean, it's to a certain point, like depending on, you know, what it is. I mean, he tries and steers them away, but sometimes, you know, like they're just like, no, I want it. I want it. I want it. And he's like, you, you don't need it. Like I can't give you any more. And like sometimes, yes, he'll turn them away. And other times, you know, they'll just twist his arm. Like, no, I want a little more. And he'll be like, okay, fine. But that's it after this. Like I, yeah. I can't do anything else for you. How right. many times does she come in? Cause Botox for everybody that doesn't know, you're supposed to do it like once every three to four months. Yeah. Realistically, if you need it, so I go doctor, six months sometimes. Yeah. So my doctor, he'll do like a free touch up at two weeks. So like you'll come in, you'll get it done. And then you come back in two weeks. So like, right. But she'll come back like every two weeks for like <laughs> <laughs> or for two months, I should say. Like, she keeps going back. Like, you see this? Do you see this? Like, it's still moving here. It's still moving here. Because your fucking face is going to move, so, lady. You're I supposed know, like, to move. What are you supposed to look like? A friggin' statue? And not smile all day? Or not be able to talk? Like, yeah, it's, it's just so bizarre. Does thing. he do, like, the strings, too, and facelifts? Or he doesn't do that? He doesn't do the strings. He does titty implants. Noses. Boobs, no, okay. Yeah. Um, a lot of Botox. Fillers. fillers Juvederm. Wrestling. Yeah. That kind of stuff. Uh, not a whole lot of facelifts. Okay. That's like really intense to do a yeah. facelift. Don't you like cut your whole fucking skin off it's your face? It's wild. If you see somebody, I saw a patient come in a day after a facelift <gasps> and like I was scared for her. Like right? you have drains hanging out of your face. Oh my God. Whole huge wrap over your head. You're swollen. I mean. Like you cut your whole fucking like face off. Like it's very off. scary like to they see they fucking them skin the your after. face like they do in um rob zombie movies you know how they like in in fucking what was that one three from hell oh yeah when they like skinned her whole fucking face off and then hung it to the tree and then she's just left there like sobbing <laughs> i don't know why i thought that part was so funny of course you did <laughs> okay <laughs> Because she went to go, like, take him in and, like, was, like, going to, like, bring him in on her own and he skinned her face. But that's, like, what they do for a facelift. They, it's like, very cut intense. your whole fucking But, I mean, after, like, face. a month, like, you're like, wow, you look phenomenal. Good. And yeah. then, like, three months, six months, you're like, wow. Like, I can't believe that was you. But I, I saw someone a day post up and I was like, well, I would never, like, fucking, I was scared. like Frankenstein. Yeah. yeah. It's, like, very disturbing. And it's got to be painful. Of course. I can't imagine getting breast implants. I don't want to feel my boobs getting cut open. Like, no. Well, and then you don't have um, sensation in your nipples for That's two not, years afterwards, not right? not always true. Depends on it. It depends. Like, I'll have patients come in who will feel or they'll feel one, not the other. Yeah. And it comes back. I mean, they say up to a year. 
I Should love nipple bad. play. Like, I don't know <laughs> if I can go a fucking year. Well, not that I'm getting like, any play the- now. <laughs> Sorry, <laughs> this is your time. This is my time. Yeah, <laughs> you know, sign her up sad. in the morning. I'm not getting Come any on fucking in, dick now as it is anyway. So. <laughs> Oh Put God. me on the list. Can you breastfeed if you in. get tit implants? Yeah. You can. Oh, really? Mm-hmm. Yeah. They yeah. like work. You'll just probably need a lift after that because. Right. Yeah. They say a little bit. A little bit? A lot of bit. <laughs> a lot of it. I guess it depends on how long you did it, but. Well, don't your nipples turn into like fucking cones when you're so, breastfeeding So, yes, and too? they're like really big. And Mike told me that I looked like a woman from an African tribe. <laughs> <laughs> Like I had a friend, her nipples were like two like inches National long. Geographic. Your sister's got mad long yeah, too. I was like scared for her, right? I didn't mean, they get like two inches they long? Get pretty, like, I mean, mine long. didn't get two inches long, but they get pretty big. Yeah, yeah. But they, they go back. They do go back. Yeah, just a little thank bit God. Sandy, but they go back. I'm like petrified of that. That's I why know. We don't I don't need carrots like shooting out of my like shirt. little baby carrots and yeah. nipples with like your leakage. I'm Wait, tell you. us about more fucking people with the body dysmorphia. Um, I'm obsessed with this stuff. Like yeah, I look at myself wild. and I don't see what other people see. And that's a fucking well, fact. I don't think anyone sees what other people see in themselves right. than they, you know, what other people see. Cause I know. Cause I'm always like, oh, I'm hideous. I'm this, I'm that. And everyone's like, no, you're not. I know. But I don't I'm know if they're like, just trying to be nice. No, I think you're hot. No. And Thank you. I just always think when like, I always have the fat issue. Like I always think I need I know, to lose not, weight. I know. But you never, you don't. I know, you look, and you guys you always great. said that. But, like, yes. to be, look in the mirror and really, like, have triple E titties and be like, my titties aren't big <laughs> enough. Well, that's how one of these patients are, not with her tits, but with her, her lips. Yeah. She just comes in all the time, and she asks, like, should I do more? Should I do more? And my doctor will say, no, I don't think you need it anymore. And then she'll say, oh, come on, give me another syringe. And then he'll say, okay. And she's like, I thought I didn't need it anymore. And he's like, you don't need any more. But you're asking me for it. Like, what do you want? Yeah. I don't know. Should I do it? Should I not do it? He's like, I don't want you to. And then she's like, okay, fine. Just give me another syringe. (laughs) Like, constantly. Okay, you fucking loon. And you do lips once a year, you're supposed to. Yes. It fades within, like, maybe nine months if you're heavily making out if you're in my world it's like a year and a half at last yeah like a year and like i mean if you have like tiny tiny lips my doctor will say okay like why don't if you, if you want like every significantly six months bigger, or whatever. yeah like build on top of it like do it six months right. and then do it six months again until you're at where you want because you don't want to fill them all at one time right either because then you look ridiculous right well um, yeah no they look fucking in, dumb i think every three months them. That's a lot. Yeah, and I mean, they're just so big. I mean, we have a theory that she's an escort, and that's how she pays for them. Oh, um, shit. Get her <laughs> on the podcast. So maybe somebody else is paying for them. I don't know. <laughs> Get her on the podcast. I want to hear about the escort life that she has. I can try. Oh, my God. <laughs> Might as well just ask. Right? She's in there all the time anyway. I know. She's always in there. I mean, always. Those things aren't cheap either. They're not cheap. Well, and they're fucking painful. It's like 500 bucks for your lips done. My doctor charges I pay 725. Like, does he really? <laughs> wow. I think I pay 595 for no, mine. No, he's heard 725. That's and that's a good like our amount. cheapest filler. Wow. Oh, shit. I get mine done once every year. And that's what year she pays. Too. No, they don't give a fuck. They'll just <laughs> pay for it. And what does she not have like a like a decent job? She's a secretary at the police department, so <laughs> I don't know. She ain't making bank. Maybe she's banging some cops. I don't know. Maybe she's got a sugar daddy. Cops are all cheaters anyway. That's so what I'm she could have like Maybe a little a side piece. Of them. Maybe she's got a hot OnlyFans going with her lips. Maybe she gives a good blowy with them, and she gets she some wants fun. those DSLs. I don't know. Yeah, <laughs> but I don't think that that these women realize that guys find it so unattractive. My Most coworker of them. said to me the other day, they all make fun of me for not having boobs, like because oh, that's me. My boobs. <laughs> I work in a car dealership with men who, like, let's be real, their bodies are fucking like atrocious f's but they all like but we're like weird like family relationships so they all can pick on me for anything like i go to like make a joke and like pull my titties down for one of the guys the other day as like it was a complete joke to yeah. like show my nipple crack or whatever and he's like <laughs> titty titty crack. i don't know my titty crack my nip <laughs> this is what i do at my job and like wow I as we got- complained about sexual <laughs> harassment in the workplace <laughs> <laughs> He was coming by my window and I like did like a shimmy for him like this and he fucking like 
pretended to have a magnifying, a magnifying glass, glass and was like, where are they? I can't see them. And then one of the other guys put an APB out for my tits because he oh said they God. disappeared because I lost a few pounds. <laughs> but I don't wear bras anymore either. Like I'll have like my little I'm training bra. Must be nice. But anyway, to get, right now. I know. <laughs> but to get to my point, they go, Addy is, you know, as small as yours are, they were like, I'd rather have small tits any day of the week than fake titties. The guy yep. was like, this girl got fake titties. One of my coworkers was like, one girl that I was hooking up with got fake titties and she kept on wanting me to feel them. And I didn't even want well, to feel I, them. I feel like some women want them to look fake. Like yeah. I have patients who come in, like my doctor is very natural and that's not his thing. Yeah. And he'll tell you like, that's, I'm not your guy then because, because he doesn't I, want his name on the no, fucking but like girls will come in and they're like I want my boobs to look fake and right. he's like well then I can't really help you like yeah. or like um one of his old co-workers co- came in and she wanted her boobs done like three times because they weren't big enough I mean she's got to be like packing g's right now Jesus that Christ that would hurt your back how do you exercise I don't with those know. that's weird like people complain with c's about like exercising absolutely what are you you're b a b, b- I'm like a a B <laughs> C A B in between. I'm like an A right now. You got good titties. I'm like a C, but in Victoria's Secret, I'm a D. Yeah, people like and Whatever, like. Alex. I know, <laughs> bitch. Shut the fuck up. But like, even don't you wear like two sports bras when you worked out or something? Yeah, I had to. Right. Otherwise, they were like smacking me in the face. Right. And so it was how like, the fuck do you do anything with the I E don't know. titties? I don't know. I'm like, I feel like your back would be fucking killing you the whole time. What does anyone do with them, though? I, mean, I don't they're know. Too big they're too fucking big. Crush watermelons and beer I cans. Seriously. <laughs> and then I feel like there's a lot of people that want to look like anime characters, they which do, is yes. so... Which freaks me out. Bizarre freaks to me. me yeah. yeah. It's a mental illness, though. Like, it is. 100%. That's beyond. Because even some women, like older women... Um, They'll come in and you could tell like they're very fake looking like their faces are. And they'll say, I'd rather look fake than look old. Yeah. But I mean, I don't know. I don't think I would want to look fake than look old. I wouldn't want to look fake. Everybody fucking gets old. Like if you're 80 years old, I hope you look fucking old. That's what I'm saying. (laughs) But there's ways to do it too. Like we all know Jane Fonda's had a lot of work done because she looks fucking (laughs) fantastic. But she looks fucking fantastic. Right. But she's also a billionaire. Right. But then you look at somebody like, well, so was Joan Rivers. (laughs) Right. And Joan Rivers looked like... Like, I mean, you, you the can't cat have Joan lady. Rivers because we fucking love Joan Rivers <laughs> and anybody that like bashes her sucks. But like, she look, she sh- looks frozen. Scary, yeah. Even Jenny McCarthy now, I saw her on New Year's Eve. She was doing the ball yes, drop. I did watch she, that. She couldn't move. Yes. She could not move. She looked almost ridiculous. Like I love Jenny McCarthy, but she was frozen. Yeah. So it's like kind of like, I don't know. I think there's like a fine line between doing it like right where you look good and then doing it where you look like, a like fucking this one on dumb the TV? Uh, yeah, as it? we're watching, Lisa like, The Rhythm. Real Housewives. <laughs> and this one, one Brandy, is. is so bad looking. We have The Real Housewives playing on mute, guys. So, like, they're on TV right <laughs> Don't now. Don't you feel like people start t- looking like cats when they have, like, Absolutely. too much work? Yes. Who is that one? Like, Lioness Catty. That's yes, that yes. Is. Who is the lion guy or the cat guy? There's a person. I know what you're talking about. They got so face, much fucking I... surgery and they look swollen. Is it a man or a woman? It's a woman. I think it's a woman, it's right? Woman. But I can't really tell because they... They just look fucking puffy. Well, how about the ones that take extra ribs out because they want their waistline to be smaller? Oh, and I thought you were going to suck, suck their, their dick. Wiener. <laughs> I mean, we've like, Alex and I have excelled in the wiener sucking people. <laughs> it's like a movement in quarantine, but that's like weird to me. Weird. That's like super fucking invasive. Well, and here's the it's problem. It's very, very dangerous. You can't just take a rib out. Like, hey. There's I like know. those Russian people that wanted to look like fairy dolls or whatever. Yeah. And that's what they did. And it, Or like a bar, not even a Barbie, but something like bizarre. And I'm like, what the fuck it happened in your fucking childhood that this is what you want to do? Wanted, and they wear yes. corsets all the time. But like those things are so unhealthy for you where they cut off your, your circulation organs. and yes. they literally crush your organs. So I guess they just... I I just can't imagine wanting to look like so much like something or not. I don't know. Not that happy with yourself that you were putting yourself through torture like that. Yeah. Torture. It's not like you're just, you know, throwing on a little extra makeup. No. They're like getting really super invasive surgeries, like chopping like limbs off and and paying money to do it. Like thousands. Like the Kendall guy. How much money did they say he like paid? Like 
thousands, like that, hundreds of thousands, yeah. it's like seven hundred thousand dollars to look, to like, look a, like the fucking Ken doll, and, and you he look looks like, like shit, fucking shit, bro. <laughs> like, Ken doll, if you're listening, you look like fucking shit. It's like, dude, just, I think he died. Oh, I think he recently just died. Never mind. Then you're not listening. <laughs> <laughs> He's listening from heaven. Um, <laughs> he hears us bashing him like bro you look like fucking garbage well i mean like, like you're putting like so much plastic. like poison and shit in your body like how can yes. you not die true seriously like it's just so disgusting i mean it's very sad if you really think about it yeah to like live life like that unhappy yes. with yourself that you have to change you yourself have to change your much. whole entire look physical being and then right. you have those fucking weirdos that think they like should be snakes and shit <laughs> so they split oh, their yeah. tongue they get like yes. their skin engraved like pythons yeah and they stuff. put like well, horns, like horns in, their in their head, head. It's it's like on head. Botch. you see all those people on botch yes, yes that's I exactly love those weird episodes those yep. horn things scare me my friend was with this guy who had like this penis fetish and like to like okay but like he <laughs> um whatchamacallit he like made his penis into like i don't know like he put a septum earring in the tip of his dick oh and it was huge and he wanted his penis to be like a fucking snake so then he tattooed a snake on his dick and he put the like the the ball things like he got them surgically in his dick so when like you went up and down like on his cock you like felt like the bumps and shit she that was the petrified most right i saw heard. the picture i'll show it to you hills. you guys could have seen my face <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> and then he got arrested for like domestic abuse with his wife and like he had to like they tried to get his dick ring out when he went to prison and <laughs> oh my <laughs> they God. had a really hard time with it and like it, like with the whole bumps in his wiener like it was actually like a weapon for him Oh my god! That is because the he wanted his dick to be like a fucking snake. Like his whole dick was tattooed. What like a snake, snake has bumps in it? I don't know. It was like a bumpy. Like when I'll they, show like, you. A, a I have a picture of it. Yeah, oh, because they swallow them whole. <laughs> That's <laughs> true. That is true. You have to see this thing. My friend sent me a I picture of it, to. and I was like, whoa! <laughs> and she didn't want to suck it. She she fucked well, it. Well, who would want? I would. But want she to didn't want to things. suck it because she was petrified that the ring was gonna get like stuck in her throat. I would have been out the fucking door. The minute he whipped it out, I, I would have been like, "Sorry, I'm crazy, but this is too this much. This is too much for me." Yeah. Well, we've come yeah. to realize how vanilla we are over I the know. course of I'm this like podcast. Really prude. We're fucking boring. <laughs> yep, <laughs> compared to like certain people. Well, I'll take it. <laughs> Do you have any other weirdos at your job? None that are popping into my head at the moment. I mean, I'm sure there are plenty. So I want to talk to Nina too. She does Wim Hof. Yes. Can you explain? Yeah. I'm so Alex and I are super spiritual. Mm. We do Same. spirituality in different ways. And so are you, Nina. Yes. And you've really dove deep into the whole Wim Hof thing. And I want you to explain it to anybody that doesn't know what it is. Yeah. So uh, the Wim Hof method is like a combination of things. It is um, so ice baths are what like everybody jumps out and thinks of first when they think of Wim Hof, which is definitely one of them. That's what he like does. Yeah, he does ice baths like all over so the world. So it's a man, that's who it, you're yeah, like he's mocking. He's a man, where's he from? Like, He's from Amsterdam. Amsterdam, okay. Yeah. I thought it was like Switzerland. He actually something. has a very interesting life. So he had like four children and his wife actually committed suicide. Oh shit, oh, shit. And, I didn't um, know this about him. He got, he was always like adventurous and stuff like that, but he really got into it after that because this gave him such a positive feedback on his life and an outlook on things. And it turns like, it, it's a very good mood booster. Like the mental rush of everything that you do is what I take away from it most. And what I, uh, is the reason I keep doing it. I yeah. mean, there's tons of benefits behind it, um, like physically, but the mental part of it is what I love about it most. Um, so he combines like cold therapy with um, breathing techniques and also um, like sense of like camaraderie and community and that kind of stuff. Yeah. Um, the ice bath I love. Um, so Mike started, my husband started doing it when I was pregnant um, and he would talk about it constantly, how much he loved it. Yeah. He was doing it like in the freezing cold outside, like in the winter and at probably first, like, what were the you fuck like, is are, this weirdo doing? Were you like, are you bad shit fucking crazy at <laughs> first? Yes, yes. And I was yeah. like, I don't get it. Like, but then we started watching, like, I mean, we must have watched every single documentary on Wim Hof there is out. I mean, we watched 
every possible thing. And every time a new one comes out, we watch a new one. I want to see some of them. I saw the Gwyneth Paltrow when there's he was a really on. good Vice one. That what I was like? her thing? She did Goop. goop. She has Goop. Yes. So the Netflix thing. And I saw that episode. And people yeah. with like debilitating anxiety, they jumped in the water and they practiced it. And like yes. after that, they haven't had anxiety. They interviewed them for like seven months later, and they had no anxiety since then. It is which is crazy. It's to me. it's really great for your mood. Like so, Mike would tell me after he got out like how great he felt, how great he felt. But you don't really understand fully until you do it yourself okay right so um like after i had anthony um like i was doing mike told me like your son sorry but he knows yeah anthony's Um, your baby (laughs) one years old cutest Um, little bubba ever thank you um after i had anthony uh mike told me to like after my like my normal shower to put it on cold afterwards and to start with that okay which i find worse than the ice bath because you're in this nice toasty warm shower but i did it i started with that like i did it for like 30 seconds and then i would do it for a minute and then um after like i don't know a couple weeks of that i tried the ice bath and um so when you first go in the first 30 seconds are like brutal they're brutal it's after that like it's okay but the first 30 seconds like you're in fight or flight so like your body naturally tells you like get out like what are you doing like so like you have to calm yourself down so like the best way that i found it um so i take a deep inhale and i slowly exhale and like you just focus on your breathing um so you do that and then like after 30 seconds you're like okay like you feel fine yeah and then like your whole body gets like this warm sensation so you like is it because you're getting hypothermia though (laughs) like it could be dude i can't even like go outside if it's like not (laughs) like no it honestly it's not so bad i mean after like like i said the first 30 seconds then like it just it feels fine and like they say you get the benefits after two minutes so Two minutes doesn't sound like a long time when you're in an ice bath. It's a fucking long time. That's like an eternity. No, that's like the treadmill minute, the microwave (laughs) minute, like the ice bath two minutes are probably the longer than the fucking treadmill and the microwave minute. I'll never forget the first time I came out, like... I was on such a natural high. Like, I felt like I could have, like, I don't run. I thought I could have ran a marathon. Like, right. I could have done anything. Like, you, you couldn't have told me that I couldn't do something. Like, I felt like I could have took on the world. And, like, I was in, like, this, like, euphoric state. Like, it was really one That's- of the best feelings. And it's like that every time. Probably like after you did the combo. I felt like that after I did the combo. I was like on cloud fucking nine. That's how I feel every time. And, like, it's so cool to watch somebody else do it also because like you see that they feel it. And like Mike always told me how it was like that, but like I didn't get it. Well, after I did it, I was like, oh my God, like, I this, do it. Yeah. you guys should come over and do it anytime. Yeah. I'll do it. But is I'm it in. like the chirotherapy or whatever? Is it like so similar? I've never done that. Mike said it's not like that. Oh, okay. Um, because it's very cool. I mean, it's freezing. Like our ch- we have a chest freezer at home and like we keep a little thermometer in it and it's like it sits at 28 degrees so i mean it's cold yeah um but like i said if you don't hyperventilate and you focus on the breathing and you you actually find like peace in there and you're calm how long do you stay in there for so i don't time myself a whole lot now i mean i never get out before two minutes i think my longest that i've gone in there is 10 um what <laughs> jesus christ okay yeah. i feel like um, your body would freeze at that point but it doesn't because you you're breathing you don't and like it's so good for the circulatory system um it's it's good for your heart it's it's good for inflammation which is another reason that i do it yeah because uh, you're arthritis yeah so i it's good for all of those things so it's like you know all of that plus the mental high you get it's just right. why not do it and then once you come out actually he has like this interesting thing called the horse dance um it's where like you like squat down low like if you're doing a squat and like you move your arms back and forth and it oh, actually I've seen that. creates yeah. heat in your thighs and it heats your body back up so you don't have an after drop after you get out because oh, okay. if you don't move around a lot afterwards you'll get an after drop and you'll like your body will feel really cold afterwards okay so when you do that it helps um so he does that which is my favorite part of the Wim Hof um experience but also the breathing is like amazing like so i used to really um hate doing the breathing like i have an app for it and i just don't do it and i have like the stance I app have, and i just i i get on these kicks and i'm like i'm gonna breathe and then i yeah. just my life happens and i fucking don't and yeah, i need because you it. have to make time to do it you know? know like me yeah. and mike were doing an ice bath every day when we first got our chest freezer and now it's not every day but you know we're trying i mean we try this you know there's nothing you could do you just gotta keep doing it yeah. keep trying and um, but the breathing technique that Wim Hof does, it's so good. So like, I used to dread doing it because I felt like it was like work. I felt like I wasn't doing it right. Um, but I watched a bunch of videos and now I found one that I like. And um, 
I don't know, you just also, you get like a high feeling yeah. from oxygen. And yeah. it's really mind blowing because you're over oxygenating yourself. Like you're, you're almost like hyperventilating. Like you're just breathing in, like you're taking like a huge breath in and then you're blowing out, but you're not blowing it fully out. You're just yeah. like letting a breath out. And you're doing that like 40 times and then you hold your breath like on your last retention. And um, after like, so like you first start to feeling um, like you feel dizzy, like you feel like pins and needles in your body. Um, but like I told Mike, after doing it for so long, I noticed a huge difference in my arthritis. I feel like it, it really helps me because it's like bringing all this oxygen to your blood. Right. And it's it's phenomenal. And also, uh, we did a class in Brooklyn um, called The Five Practice. This woman, Danielle, runs it. And she's a certified Wim Hof instructor. Uh, she went to Poland just like Mike did. And Oh, um, yeah, I forgot he went to Poland. Yeah, so he she, did, like, a whole colony. Did he go yeah. with Wim Hof or just yes, the colony? Okay. Yes. Yeah, he was there, like, running everything. It's, like, his training center where That's he went. That's fucking cool, wow. actually. He said, he said the breath work there was, like, his favorite thing. He said, like, every day they did, like, they would do, the like, the power breathing, it's called, yeah. for, like, an hour. And he said it really... It was such a healing experience for him because he said you release all of these emotions that you hold in constantly. He said people were laughing, crying, crying. crying. He said, oh, wow. yeah. he really? said it was like such a great experience. And when you're in a room doing it with a bunch of people, there's this energy in the room because even when we go to the five practice in Brooklyn and do it, she does like uh, first she does yoga, then she does the breathing and then you finish with an ice bath and the cl and the class is only like 10 people, but the energy in the room when you're doing the breathing is like, you, like it's like nothing I can explain. So I can't imagine how he felt when he was in Poland when there was 100 people in a room right, doing right. it for an hour because we were doing only like three rounds of the breathing. And uh, our friend Will came with us too. And his <laughs> his natural reaction at first, he said that he felt like like, like he was high, like he was on drugs. Didn't he? He, yeah, said, he said it was like was gonna fall off. <laughs> yeah, he so did cold. say that in the beginning. <laughs> but then he said he no, he really did say he was like it's like a natural high. It like he's like high. it's crazy. Like it's, it's unbelievable that you can get that from breathing. Yeah, like, you know. Yeah. So you do that, and you combine with the ice bath. It's just it's really life changing. Um, I feel like there's so much more you can learn with it. Also, like once you start doing it, like you know, there's different levels to it. Like me and Mike really enjoy doing it in like nature also, not just in the ice bath. So like yeah. my mom is a house of state. So like we went up there and like jumped in a pond. Um, I don't know. It's like, it's really helped me mentally with a lot of things. Yeah. yeah. I know it has with Mike too. Do you have to like learn the breathing techniques before so you no, jump in? No, because you're not doing that breathing. Like the breathing techniques that you're doing, you're doing it when you're laying down or sitting oh, down. You're oh, not okay. doing it in the ice bath. Like oh. they don't go together. Oh, They're okay. just part of like his method. Okay. Um, but you should practice breathing before you jump in the ice bath so you don't have a fucking so panic like, attack though, right? Your natural reaction is to panic. Right. So like you're fucking cold. It's cold. It And you know what? That never goes away. Like every time me and Mike do it, there's never a point where I'm like, this is not going to be cold. Like there's not a point where I'm not dreading to go in sometimes because you are. You're like, you're nervous about going in. You're antsy. You're like, shit, this is going to be gonna so It's going to be so cold. painful. But I get like a little bitch when I have to put my belly down in like a pool or something <laughs> like that, you know? I just don't go in, period. Yeah, but once, so it, you never get used to that. Like that feeling never goes away. But once you get in, like I said, you take a deep breath in, like a... And then a, like a slow exhale. So yeah. you're controlling your breathing. Yeah. And it calms your whole body down. And then it's like, okay, I'm not going to panic here. Like, I'm okay in here. And then it's, you know, you find peace in this very chaotic environment, which, you know, is just nice in itself. So it teaches you almost like meditation when you're in there. Yeah. Right, right, right. I got to start meditating more. I try Same. so I know I used to do it much. every day too, but I've been slacking. My, I have this therapist that would do breathing techniques with me and I would feel so much better. But then like my life just gets so crazy that you just like breathing. Don't do I it. mean, it's crazy how, well, that it's breathing. It's breath work. Breath to cure. Work is, yep. Is that was wild. my therapist. She did breath work. She teaches breath work to cure anxiety. Absolutely. And she goes in schools and does it too. Yeah, it's good for depression, anxiety. Yeah. And also, so like Wim Hof's thing also is that you can control your nervous system and your immune system with this. So he does a really interesting study where he, um, they, he goes into a hospital setting. Yeah. They inject him with E. coli and he does his method and he doesn't get sick. Oh, wow. And then after that, they're like, okay, well, like you're a freak of nature. It, 
you know, it's just you. He takes like a group of people. I believe it's like 16 people. And then they pick like, I think randomly 12 people from the 16. Yeah. And they do the same experiment. They put them in the hospital, they inject them with the virus and none of them get sick because Holy they're doing shit. his method. So yeah. like, there's a lot of science behind his stuff. So it's not just like some, you know, some crazy guy jumping in water and <laughs> yeah, yeah, yeah. doing weird breathing techniques. Like there's a lot of science behind it. And it's becoming really popular because of that. So and it's popular. So many people not just mentally, but physically, you know, if you yeah. can control, like if you can't get sick, like what a crazy thing that is. Yeah. Right. Didn't he like climb like Everest, like in underwear in or underwear something like that? He also ran, uh, I forget what desert, but he ran a marathon in a desert without a drink of water. Like it's not just cold. Like he has right. like this oh, temperature wow. thing. Yes. I guess because like he it's mostly mental. Like if you think uh, about it. Pretty right. much everything's mental, I yeah. feel like. Yeah. Like hypochondriacs are always sick because they want to get sick. There's no fucking like... It, it, it's it's a fact like right. it's not like coincidence like oh you know it's because they're willing to get sick absolutely you're yep. putting it in your mind and right when you have like a negative like outlook on life bad shit happens to you because you're looking for bad I have a positive right. outlook yes. on my life and just shit just fucking <laughs> i try to have a positive outlook but how can i at this point for god's That's sake our podcast is called disappointed but not surprised I'm like oh i'm gonna manifest this great thing happening and then like a train crashes through my house I'm like, really? No, I really try and like thank God and the moon every single day. I pray to the moon. I'm a weirdo and I pray to the moon. That's like my like spirit. I pray to the universe. Yeah, me too. I'm always like, universe, please, if you're listening, please do this for me, whatever. Me out. I literally like try and like give my like, you know, gratitude list every day. And I'm like, well, this is just my life. Maybe I need to do Wim Hof and I'll I like get I think you better. do. I mean, it's really... It's really become a thing that like me and Mike really love so much and we're trying to get more people into it. Like my sister's been coming over yeah. and doing it. We dunk Anthony's little feet in our in Aww. my ice bath and he doesn't seem to mind it. So hopefully one day he'll be a little hoffer running around. I'm he sure he will. He's a trooper. Yeah. Well, they were even saying on <laughs> the Gwyneth Paltrow thing, how old's her son? Like 15? He's doing like the ice, like cold showers yeah, I mean, and stuff why like not? that. And it's, it's helping him. benefit you at yeah. such a young age, like to, and to progressively do it your whole entire life. And it's right. something so simple. Like you're taking a cold shower. Like yes. that's all it is. Or like a cold bath. Like you get in a fucking bath and it's cold. Absolutely. Can you start like with just like, can I just fill up my bathtub and just have it be so, chilly? My, I mean, Mike did that. Or just first. like go in cold he, But pools. he did ice. He did ice in the ice. bathtub. Yeah. Actual bathtub. Yeah, we, we graduated. So we did ice in a bathtub. Then he bought like this huge garbage can. I saw him at Home Depot <laughs> when yeah, he was he buying did. it. She goes, I saw Mike at Home Depot buying garbage cans for Wim Hof. Yeah. <laughs> so then, but then we were buying so much ice. Like he was spending like $40 on ice every time we did an ice bath. Oh, that's a So lot. he was like, let's just get a chest freezer. And I was like, eh. And he's like, come on, we use it enough. Let's just get it. And How much was the chest freezer? We bought a really big one. So I think it was like $700. Okay. Holy shit. But... We well, you got to fit your whole body in it, so it's right. Me and Mike can both fit in it. The one that we at bought. the same time. Yeah. Oh shit, that's his huge. sister came home one day and we were both sitting in there and she's like, "Really? <laughs> <laughs> yeah, bitch. Um, yeah, the one we got is really big. You could buy a smaller one. I'm sure you could buy it for a little bit cheaper. You could probably even buy a used one. Right. I mean, I belong to a Wim Hof Facebook group, and um, there's like a huge joke on there that people always ask, like on like Craigslist or like, Facebook Marketplace, when they're selling a chest freezer, like, can a Dead body bodies? fit in there? <laughs> <laughs> because <laughs> they want to sit in there you right know? um but yeah i'm sure you could start off small you know ice bath i'm like so you should just come over and do that it. we did combo what yeah. is that because i don't know what that is frog poison so they burn like whole five hey, holes see? in you oh, wait hold up do you see my marks you yes. see the little dots? Yeah. They're like burn marks in my skin permanently. I, now, I have mine. I've never heard of that. Yeah. Yeah, and they put frog, frog poison. It's like an Amazon thing. Yeah, it's like do. an Amazon like ritual. Like a pregame oh, is- for ayahuasca, but I can't do ayahuasca oh, because of I'm the recovery. I'm dying to do fucking ayahuasca. Yo, I can't get high. Me and Michael take a trip with you. Seriously? Because <laughs> I literally is. have no one to do it Shit. with. I'll go me with Mike you guys and just babysit hold you. Hold my hand. I'll totally go with you guys, but I can't do yeah. it. That would be a relapse for me. Yeah, we could do that. Oh my we god! Talk about it. We watched, you know, a couple of things on it. I yeah. mean, 
Mike's down for the get down. I'm down for it. Let's go the because I've been wanting to go so bad and do it. And now I was I'm like, I would, was doing it with my ex, like the combo and whatever he wanted to do. I, ayahuasca really bad because it like the drug addiction it's supposed to cure it's, that yeah, it's supposed to like enlighten See, you and... i don't know i feel like if i did ayahuasca that's a relapse for me well then it's not your thing it's yeah, not my that, thing that's yeah that's okay that's if that's how you feel i mean i'm down to go with you guys and watch you guys trip out on <laughs> shit and we like i'll to, just like, like costa rica and then make a fucking trip out of it i'm well, down yeah. i'm fucking in but the um the what is it the um, the combo, combo was they took frogs from the Amazon and they like took the poison off of them. Like I'm sure you've seen that shit in the Simpsons where yeah, the guy yeah. like trips out or whatever, like Homer. You don't trip out with this though. You at don't all. trip. You just puke. You puke your brains out. You puke no your way. fucking brains out in into a like a bucket. And then it Or if you're outside the river, the tree, the Amazon. So but we where were did in, you get where did you do this? A shaman here. came over. A shaman came here. Yeah. You guys Wow, that's so yep. interesting. She to me. did it with her ex and her cousin, and then I was so fucking jealous. So I did it New Year's Day, like two weeks later, and the shaman yeah. came to my house. So what do you feel like after? Like so you like after you are you throwing up the whole time? Like you're yes. sick. So you like puke for like I don't. It's not even ten, 10 minutes because he takes it off. I think he like d did it for like ten minutes. I got so sick from the hot bay. Oh yeah, it's spelled R A P P E, and it's like a powder. Like it's like a tobacco mix that they blew up your nose, oh. one nostril. But it was funny because I was like panicking with the guy coming over because I didn't know what it was going to do. Like, is it going to change your brain function? Is it going to? And you swore by it, and you said you felt fucking great. Um, I did. Her cousin didn't really feel any difference. Her ex felt like he was on cloud nine, and so I don't know what this stuff is. But like my cousin was kind of like negative anyway about it, like blocked, like very nervous so, and this so and that. that. That's right. like a big thing. I feel like with a lot of hallucinogenics, like if I can't say the word <laughs> hallucinogenic, hallucinogenic. I can't pronounce anything. Um, either, Einstein. So <laughs> I feel like that's a lot with it. Like when you're blocking it and you're so scared to let anything happen to you, you're not getting the full effect because right. you're so nervous. Exactly. So you have to just let go. Yeah, exactly. I mean, very similar to the ice bath. You got to just let go. Let go. <laughs> so she, like, you guys felt great. So I, I thought I could, I was going to write a book. You I were was like, going to run a marathon. Seriously felt amazing afterwards. I felt so fucking good. Like, I haven't felt like that in, like, fucking years. I didn't feel any different from it. And I'm so open to all of that. When I did the hot pay in my nose, it's a tobacco powder, but I was having really bad anxiety when he first came over. And like my anxiety, I don't get it as much as I used to, but like around that time, I was getting it really bad too. Yeah. And like now I'm fine, but like as soon as they put the hot pay in my nose, like it was just like, whew, like it went away. Like it was gone, like within like that. that and then cool. I got really sick and I was puking really bad from the hot pay. And then he's like, all right, I think you're ready for the um combo. the combo and so he did one he burned three with incense he did like like a, almost like an incense this is stick. so interesting to me because i've never heard of this yeah. yeah and then he did one frog poison thing he did the next one i think he did all three in me i don't really remember the full he thing he did five on the people i was with he only did four on me because he's like i could tell you're just ready to like right. get this shit out i of think you. i was like so sick with the <laughs> hape that that's why he only did three burn marks on me though because he goes i don't think you're gonna need that much and also your face swells up like a fucking balloon no way yeah. i didn't have a mirror so it was just me but you you were with two other people so you saw their face blow yeah up. i was like uh is that normal <laughs> i was so sick and and then like you just puke in the bucket a few times and you drink more water. And oh, I wasn't yeah, getting my nug. You have to water. chug water to like get it all up and out of you. And then as soon as he wiped it off, then you like felt better. You just felt like relaxed. Interesting. Yeah, it was very relaxing to me. Very relaxing. Actually. And I hate throwing up and I'm like, I'm going to hate this. I'm going to hate this. And then you don't even remember after it's over. Not because yeah. you're like blacking out or anything, but it's just like because you feel so good now that like. I just, just remember you. sleeping after oh. that. Like he left. And then this fucking guy. <laughs> oh. oh God. <laughs> I just wanted to sleep and I'm so OCD. And he used my bathroom and he like missed the toilet and oh. he peed on my floor. Let me tell <laughs> you. Let me bitch because I am like so that's like my biggest fucking pet peeve when guys can't fucking aim their wieners <laughs> and like they fucking piss on the floor, man. I was so fucking mad. So all I wanted to do was sleep. But of course I had to then. And then my brain is like, 
he stepped in it. So now it's in your entire floor in your apartment. So I didn't oh just my clean God. the bathroom. The combo is supposed to like help oh, cure this yeah, but I cleaned yeah. the whole fucking floor. And then I had to clean because then I wanted to clean my mat too and everything. So I like cleaned up and then I ended up just passing out for the rest of the night. But I didn't feel different the next day. Mm. You felt amazing. I felt no different. I, w- I want to do it again. I would do it again actually though. It's not that I wouldn't do it again. I would totally do it again. Yeah, I would in a heartbeat. I just would. I feel like it would be fun to do it like in Costa Rica or in the fucking Amazon though. Absolutely. Because like I when, feel like maybe a different setting, but I don't know if it's going to be like. <laughs> when we were like, supposed to go to Bali, like I was looking up places to do it and yeah. stuff and there were places, but then we didn't go. Cause I'm dying to go to Bali. I don't know if it would be so dying, like legit if right? we did it yeah. in like Costa Rica though, or would we just be getting like the fucking like black market fucking frog? No, because they <laughs> have like damn die. frogs there. I know that, but we at least got it from like a high end shaman with a website. <laughs> <laughs> Addy. but he gets it from the amazon he gets it from the amazon yeah this is so interesting my to ex me. was like trying to get dmt and like all the shit and i'm like all right calm down <laughs> like yeah he was on a spiritual trip kick for a minute i don't know what happened he fell off the he wagon fell off the fucking wagon <laughs> combo wore off <laughs> <laughs> no, I actually ate the shrooms trip. for the first time in my life like three weeks ago. What? Wow. Yeah, I was here bored and I was like, I had them because I just wanted to do them, but like I didn't eat the whole eighth. Like I was right, micro so dosing it. it. Yeah. I thought I was like, this is the best thing I've ever fucking did. Well, I don't you know. By yourself? Talk, yeah. They Good talk for you. you. <laughs> it's summer Good of yes. for you. <laughs> summer of yes. Except I haven't even followed through with the summer of yes. Alex has. We're having a summer of yes, and I haven't done shit. You they, fucking summer they of yes. Also, they talk about um, using mushrooms to help anxiety and depression also. Oh, yeah. There's like a lot of studies on that, so I could see that. I feel like a lot of this stuff all goes hand in hand. It does. Yeah, I can see that. This is why it's illegal because they want to put you on like, fucking meds for everything. And right. Just doing 100%. natural shit. My brother does um, mushrooms, like the microdosing, because he's a musician. He does the band thing. So he says it helps with his creativity. That's. I mean, I haven't done mushrooms in a long time. I haven't but. done mushrooms <laughs> since fucking. I mean, I can't do any of that anymore at all whatsoever right. because like I would fucking just wind up dead or in jail or in a psych ward again. <laughs> but like, so let's not do <laughs> so that. Let's just like not go there. But I can be with you guys for it. OK. I remember I did shrooms one time just to like hang out with one of my ex-boyfriends. <laughs> and I was like, oh, no. <laughs> And like I remember like fucking him and he was like on top of me and I don't remember he like what he looked turned like into what? like a pterodactyl type thing and he's like what's wrong with that. you and I'm like nothing well no. my Piper my dog that is a mini schnauzer so she has like the mustache her face was upside down and I was looking at her and I was like oh wow I'm like this is crazy I'm like glued to the window like looking at the trees out there it was crazy and then I called my sister because then I was bored and I was like, you know, because I was by myself and I'm like, am I supposed to be seeing kaleidoscopes right now? Yes, you are. Absolutely. So she's like, I'm coming over. Yep. And like she came over here and I'm like, my couch is breathing. Uh-huh. And then there was like, you know, on the hotels.com commercial, like the Captain Obvious. And yes. he's like, oh, da, da, da. I don't know why I found that so, so funny. funny. I laughed for 20 <laughs> minutes straight. I was crying. And my sister's like, what the fuck is funny about that? I'm like, the captain. I'm like, I just, Did she just, do him with you or no? no? She was just That's with why. you. No, she just wanted to like. If she did him with you, she would. Oh, you forget would it. be laughing and smiling. I feel like those are such happy, happy drugs. Oh, yeah. My roommate was a drug dealer in college. So she had everything. We always had like chocolate race car mushrooms in the freezer like she would mold them and like sell them (laughs) and like (laughs) she would get them and she would go like pick the shrooms from like the shit fucking cow manure farms or wherever she went I don't know so I was always the tester for everything and so she gave them to me to test one night and I remember being in the shower and our shower curtain was like this big hot pink floral college thing whatever the fucking shower curtain came alive at me and like clowns started coming at me like how in Dumbo you know how they like Dumbo dress and he starts seeing like the bouncing (laughs) bubbles yeah that was like me with the fucking clowns coming at me it was fucking scary as shit yeah, I don't think I would like that one. I didn't. That one is that was not one of my best ones. I've had no. really good. I actually took them 
no, this was mescaline one night. And I was speaking of juicy. I was in a juicy track suit, <laughs> like a zip yes. up, like the brown one with the velour pants. Yep. And I don't know why, but I thought I turned into Mr. Hanky, the Christmas poo from oh fucking. My God. And I was like <laughs> cartwheeling around like, howdy ho. Literally, because I had my hood up, like the brown, like velour yeah. thing. And it was just like you cartwheeling. So we definitely yeah. stole those. <laughs> Howdy ho! <laughs> yeah, that was crazy. But I get why they say don't look in the mirror. Oh no, you cannot look in. The mirror. I looked in the fucking no, mirror no. like a like, dumbass. Yeah. My eyes looked hollow, and yeah. I was like, "Oh shit!" No, it's this very is scary. Why. People, you could turn your trip right upside down. With, yep. Yeah, you never look demonic. The mirror. I did look in the mirror one time, and I thought I was like a demon. And no, I was like, yeah. no, scary. it's really I creepy. Was on acid, not mushrooms, but. <laughs> Well, I remember Either way, they all blend one of in. my exes from like back in the day, he called me one time. He goes, don't be pissed. I lied to you. I did mushrooms tonight. That's why I said I couldn't hang out. But my cat's crying and it's <laughs> making me nuts. And I really feel like I need to go to the hospital. Can you drive me to the hospital? I'm like, no click. Because I was so angry. Like he lied to me. He's like, oh, I'm just doing this. Meanwhile, he took fucking mushrooms. That's why I didn't want to hang out with me. That's like fucking bullshit. I know. I would, I would be pissed too. Like you didn't want to take shrooms and hang out with me during shrooms. Did he just do it by himself? He did it with one of his friends and his friend was like staring at the air conditioner for oh like five God. hours. Oh, and he's shit. like, he's not even helping me. My cat is crying. I can't listen to this anymore. Please take me to the hospital. I'm like, go downstairs and tell your mom. See ya. Sorry. Sometimes Bye. you can have a fucking bad trip and it's like scary and you just want to come out of it. That's why I never did them. But I was like sitting here fucking bored one time. Where'd you have that? I feel like you have to be in the right state of mind. Like the right, right mindset. Like obviously you're not going in looking for a bad time. Right. Well, I wanted to do micro microdosing. So I right. knew somebody that could get them. So I hit him up. I was like, yo, get me some shrooms. He did. And then I had them sitting there for like three weeks. And then one Friday night, I'm like, well, I'm fucking bored. <laughs> Let me just do this. Summer of yes, motherfucker. Exactly. Exactly. Right. I'm living my best life. I like it. I like it. All right, guys, we're going to close out. But before we do that, you know what time it is. <laughs> the confession <laughs> corner. Confession corner. Do, do, do. All right. First confession from you sick fuckers. I'm into shit porn. Okay. I try to <laughs> deny it, but I just have to accept it. I like, like watching girls poop. To clear something up, I think eating it and spreading it is gross. I just like watching girls poop, nothing more. I mean, if you fucking send us money to our Venmo account, <laughs> <laughs> there's not much we won't do. <laughs> fucking shit on a fucking newspaper well what about two girls one cup just watch that i know it's Ugh. like the guy that was like i want you guys to pee for me and some guy messaged us nina that is so bizarre and he wanted us to, to he was race. gonna pay us to race and pee and we're like okay like how many times have we gotten out of a car and peed on the street before yeah. we went to the yeah, fucking sure. club because the bathroom line was yeah. like better to pee outside anyway than pee in that disgusting bathroom oh Outfits my god line was but everybody like passed out in it. and it was a unisex one so I the guys would be like shitting in the fucking stalls <laughs> and you would have to go in so we would like yep. pee on the street so we're like how many times do we peed in front of each other so we're just gonna you know, do it. And he was going to pay us to see who like could finish first. And then he was miraculously broke. Oh, like all the broke. rest of them were yeah. like, all right, then go fuck yourself, loser. Yeah. But it, honestly, sweetheart, if you want to like uh, see us shit for you, you can pay us and then we'll shit porn for you. Oh, Just saying. <laughs> here's another. No here's shame. A, here's a crazy one that we got. This one says, I know who the Zodiac killer is. Ooh. I met him in Hobbs, New Mexico in 1998. Explain, please. Yeah, explain. <laughs> Where did you meet him? At a bar? Am like, I wrong? Wasn't the Zodiac killer arrested? No, they never found him. Oh. I don't know much about the Zodiac killer, so I'm no help here. I swore the Zodiac killer was arrested. Mm -mm. No, you know about murderers more than me. I just swore he was <laughs> one of the things on Mindhunter where they interviewed it. Maybe I'm wrong. You didn't watch that show. Right no, I, I started to, but then I was like working. So I was like, whatever. I yeah, pay fuck attention. work. Work's stupid. It's I, overrated. It gets in the way. Work. Guys, just send us money so we don't have to work. <laughs> okay, <laughs> last one. Guys, I like this one. I have to kind of tell someone I love fat chicks. Pog, chubby, curvy, BBW, fat, thick, whatever you call it. A woman that giggles is the best. I just felt some, <laughs> some girls. Giggles or jiggles? 
giggles it says oh it could be jiggles i don't know i feel like our writers jiggles yeah (laughs) she's a giggling jiggly woman is the best i just felt some girls need to know this push that cushion amen as Large we're sitting here mess. talking about body dysmorphia. Meanwhile, the, these Very people love ho- uh, love, fat, love fat chicks. Some people love BBW. Uh, co-worker that we worked with, the one that we stole his coleslaw. Oh, you know shit. who I'm talking yep, about. Yep, yep. He loved BBW. If hey. we were too thin for him, we were we we he would he was not attracted to us. They had to be like I was not attracted to him either. <laughs> so it's mutual buddy. They had to be like 250 pounds for him to even like Wow. Yeah. But he loved it though because Hey, I mean to each his own. Well, whatever gets your dick hard. He said, and I'm probably gonna be shit on for saying this, but whatever. We're shit on for saying a lot anyway. He goes, Big girls are the best. They bring you McDonald's, they give you a blowjob, you smoke weed with them, and then they just go home. I'm like, <laughs> oh, can't argue with you there. <laughs> It's like they slob the knob. Oh, man. So do I, man. I just don't bring you fucking McDonald's and smoke weed. (laughs) Addy. Oh, my God. All right, guys. Well, we are going to close out another week. Nina, thank you so much. Thank you for joining us. Guys, follow us on Instagram, DBNS period podcast. Find us on Twitter. We don't know what it is still. (laughs) it's like podcast dbns yeah we have a facebook page disappointed but not surprised pod just go follow us on that we're working on our website and like don't judge our instagram we're working on it we're like really behind with the social media but we're gonna get You'll there get it. i and have faith in you, you bitches watch we're gonna be like on billboards one day of do not associate with these people yeah our parents will be really proud <laughs> all right bye guys bye, bye. Disappointed but not surprised. Disappointed but not surprised. Disappointed but not surprised.